wish I didn't have to work. Oh man, I gotta trade this in for a bus. All right, we got Sid. So, how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but. It's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. Just so we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, oh, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I'll just have to deal with it. <gasps> this is ain't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. All hail to me! Could it be as simple as... 3D? No, 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 don't put in a space. Oops, sorry, fever slipped. Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say. I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Well, what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Just like Johnny taught me. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Too shy. That's two. One more to go. Oh. I wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace, and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet. God, are you so mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. Oh, 
Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Here. Let me try something. <laughs> Better you than me. Okay, this will work. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never mind like that. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Keep those reassurances coming. Z, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. 
How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? I don't know. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. This one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. What is the pirate of a raven? <sighs> oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? Um, I... All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship.
You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. <laughs> Could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Man, look at the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so. Uh, no guns? Killing me, Kinsey. I found your power armor. Because they're just missing stuff. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and oh look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. I can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers, how do I open them? Brute force works. And there are the alien guards. You take care of what's there and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Humans in all these pods? Maybe, but I don't think they've been abducted humans exclusively. I think I'm getting close. Shit, one of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. <sighs> See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kenzie was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Uh, Kenzie said the guns are missing... 
of stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. Set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. Don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. More than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie. of the best guns. Kenzie, tell me you're close. I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Matt, get down! Here comes some more!
gun stopped working. I did what I could. I can't even fix it right now. Fuck. I'm here. Get to me. Ship to the platform, Matt. Get to it. If your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself! You can't handle things, Matt. I'm sure Keith David would love a crack at this. That is Mr. Keith David to you! Oh shit, we woke Mama. I'm not even scratching it. Sociopath feels like. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, remember that big ship you were asking about? I'm gonna get us to a safe spot. Hang on. Okay, I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. What's it doing, Kinsey? Okay, get ready. Shoot the panel on the left. I, I, I mean, the right, the right. Kinsey! Sorry, I'm facing the other way. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh, my God. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Stay focused. So keep your shit together. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> 